Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Only Bio. Presenting up the MCQs on the chapter cell division from 51 to 55. Question number 51. If at the end of meiosis the four daughter cells have four chromosomes, how many chromosomes were there in the mother cell? A. 8 B. 16 C. 2 D. 4 And the correct answer for this question is 8. Question number 52. How many times meiosis will take place for the formation of 80 wheat grains? A. 100 B. 80 C. 40 D. 99 and the correct answer for this question is A. 100. Friends, remember wheat is an angiospermic plant. So for the formation of 80 grains, that is 80 seeds, what we need is fertilization between 80 male gametes and 80 female gametes. Then we also know that for the formation of 80 male gametes, only grains have to be produced by meiosis. So, one meiotic division will produce 4 microspore, microspores. So, for the formation of 80 male gametes, it is microspores. We require 20 meiotic divisions. Why? 80 female gametes, it is megaspores, have to be formed for which we require 80 meiosis in megaspore mother cells. Because in angiospermic plants, after meiotic division in single megaspore mother cell, no doubt there is, uh, there is a formation of 4 megaspores. But of the 4 megaspores that are formed, only one survives and the other 3 megaspores get degenerated. So the total number of meiotic divisions is 20 plus 80 that is 100. The next question is, in which type of cell division spindle formation does not occur? A. Mitosis B. Meiosis C. Endomitosis and D. None of the above And the correct answer for this question is C. Endomitosis Friends, endomitosis is the right answer because here it is irregular nuclear division of the nucleus The next question is How many mitotic divisions must occur in a cell of the root to form 256 cells. A. 256 B. 8 C. 128 D. 64 And the correct answer for this question is B. 8 Yes, you might be confused here. Please try to understand. It is written as a single cell of the root tip. So one cell, when it undergoes mitosis for the first time, it's going to produce two cells. Second time, it's going to produce four cells. So, if you factorize 256, what you get is the answer that is 8. The next question is, question number 55, the best stage to count the number of chromosomes during mitosis is dash or the same question can also be asked as structure of chromosomes can be best seen at dash. A. Prophase B. Metaphase C. Anaphase D. Telophase And the correct answer for this question is B. Metaphase Friends, remember metaphase is the best stage to study it because the chromosomes are present in the bivalent form in the metaphase stage and are organized on the equatorial region. So they become much condensed and become visible that is they are distinct. Friends, hope you like it and please keep studying with me. Do watch the playlist. There are so many of the different chapters being uh, covered. If you have any suggestions to give, you are most welcome. Thank you so much.